Hi guys, Ziv from Elementor here. Today I'll show you how to use the dynamic request parameter. You can use it to track traffic sources or campaigns, as well as show a personalized message to your visitors. You can even pre-populate forms with your user's info. There are three types of requests, the get, post, and query vars requests. Today I'll show you an example using the get request in the forms widget. But this also works with other kinds of texts such as titles and button texts. Ok, time to get started. Let's say that as a marketer working on a campaign, you set up this cool landing page and would like to send emails through an email marketing service such as MailChimp to customers with a link to this page. You want each customer on your mailing list to have their name and email filled in automatically on the form when they land on the page. With Elementor's dynamic get requests parameter, you can attach parameter names to form fields and in doing so allow email marketing services to call upon them with unique URLs for each customer. This way each email receives its personalized URL and upon opening it will autofill the form. Now let's dive in and see exactly how to do it. First off, let's start with the name field. Click on it and go to the Advanced tab. Now, click on the Dynamic option above the Default Value field. In the drop-down, scroll down to the Site section and choose the Request Parameter option. It will appear in the Default Value field. In order to set it, click the Tools icon on the left or anywhere else on the field. In the Setting drop-down, make sure the type is set to Get. Now, go ahead and fill in your Request Parameter. Make sure they are unique names. I will type F name, referring to first name. In the advanced drop down, you can add static content before or after the dynamic element. And the fallback option allows you to add default static content for if the parameter doesn't exist. I'll show you how that works in the phone field. But first, let's go over to the email. Do the same as before, only this time type email for the request parameter. Now go to the phone field and type phone and in the advanced drop down add some fallback text as well in case it can't be found in MailChimp for example. Now update the page and let's check it out in action. Pay attention though, this doesn't work with the preview link. You need to use the permalink to test it out. Email marketing services know how to read the parameter placeholders such as fname and email and they know how to replace them with the customer's personal details from a mailing list, basically generating a personalized URL just like you see here. Now, for this example, I set some fallback text for the phone field. And as you can see, the phone parameter doesn't have a value in the URL, indicating that it doesn't exist in MailChimp, for example. So let's load the page and see if the fallback text works as well. Cool. Well, that's it. Now you know how to add dynamic get request parameters to your online forms and improve your marketing campaigns. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks. See you later.